Hey there parents. Today, let's learn how to protect your kids with Fortnite controls. Let's go. Ah, Fortnite. If you're like me, you've heard about it, but may not quite fully understand it. Well, Fortnite is a sandbox style game that's become wildly popular over the last few years with children and with teenagers. The ecosystem in this thing is actually quite amazing. While this game can be fun and entertaining and even provide collaboration between your kids and their friends, it's also shown that it can be very addictive and provide behavioral issues, time management issues, and even discipline with your child if left unchecked. And that's what we're going to help you with today. Turn it off. I'm going to show you how to set up the parental controls for the Xbox, the PS4, the PC, and even the mobile devices so that they can play Fortnite without running into inappropriate content and so that they can play for the amount of time that you deem fit. And like we always tell on this channel, you are the parent. You are the responsible one. And you should, if you're going to give your kid a game or an app or a device, you should understand it. You should set the parameters what is okay and what is not okay. And even if your kids are already playing Fortnite and you haven't set up parental controls, it's never too late to start setting up parental controls for Fortnite. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, to set up these controls, we want to go to the main Epic Games website here. If your kid has already set this up, they're probably put their email. So you're going to want to change that to your personal email instead of theirs. We've done that already. You can put other information here, but it's not required. We're going to skip it for this time. From here we can go to parental controls and it's going to require that you set up a pin. We've already done that so we'll throw that in here. From here it's got a bunch of different options. It has the ability to use the pin anytime you make in-game purchases so that your child will have to know the pin before they can actually use your money. <laughs> it also has the different rating system that you approve. So Epic Games does more than just Fortnite. Um, their main one is Fortnite but they do other games. So you can choose which rating is okay and which ratings are not. And then you come into some that are very important in my opinion, and that is the voice chat permissions. So you can choose what voices that your kids are hearing while they're playing the game. Is it their friends only? Is it nobody? Is it everybody? You can choose that from here. And also their text chat permissions, which is what text they will see during playing the game. Is it nobody? Is their friends? Is it everybody? Teammates, etc. You can also filter out language here, and you can do your playtime tracking report. As far as setting up playtime limits, we have to go through a few loops to do that. But we can pick your each individual system here, so we're going to go to the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's going to have a link at the top for the app you have to download, and from that app you can then limit the playtime played on the Switch. It's also the same with the PlayStation here. Same thing here, you've got to just download the app. It's also the same with the Xbox and the PC. And you can do that all through this page here. So that's pretty easy. We can all do that, right? Here's a couple additional general gaming rules that I found have helped me with my kids when it comes to my kids and gaming. Number one is just talk about it. I know, seems simple. But this one pays off with the greatest dividends in my opinion. Sit down with your kids. Have those conversations about why you're putting these parental controls on there. The fact that they can only be on it certain amounts of time a day, let them know why. Because even though it's a game and it's for fun, it can start affecting their real life. And that they might find stuff that's inappropriate in the game, and when they do, they should let you know. These conversations go a long way when it comes to gaming and your children. Number two, and it has to go right along with number one, is to set some hard rules when it comes to the game. Don't rule with an iron fist, though. Talk with your kid, compromise, figure out what they think is an appropriate amount of time a day to spend on the game. If you do this with your kid, they will respect the rules more, and you can let them know if they break those rules, they are cut off. The game's over. Maybe you'll quit playing for a while, get a job, pay some of your bills. I'm never gonna quit playing! He's having it! <laughs> that will be sure to get their attention. Number three is to actively monitor while your kids are playing the game. Now for me, this is the hardest one because uh, while my kids find this entertaining, I don't really find it super entertaining. I don't know what a level 50 blaster gun is or does. 
I just don't know. But if we sit down with them in the beginning especially and actively monitor what they're doing, then we can figure out if this is a game that is for them. A lot of these games like Fortnite have a lot of internet multiplayer functions. Sometimes that is okay for our children, sometimes that is not. If we are actively monitoring, we can determine that for ourselves after watching a little bit. My wife, for instance, set up my son's account for Fortnite, and every once in a while she'll sit down and actually play with them. This is great bonding time for them, and she gets to see firsthand if she likes this game or not, and if we should continue playing it. While I had a little bit of gaming growing up, it wasn't as big a thing. In today's world, our kids, it's a mainstay in their lives, gaming, and it can be very hard to navigate. So hopefully some of this was helpful. I know it was a lot of stuff I just threw at you. But if you found any of it helpful, please hit the like, the subscribe, click the little bell thing, <laughs> yeah, whatever. And as always, thank you for watching.